minute to go in the ball game. Collins on the offensive end. He's going to throw it down inside to Tyler Davis. He's going to work underneath and put it up no good. Tap no good. Rebound on the floor. I.J. Reddy gets it off the floor. Dribbles it. Throws it up long to Weatherspoon. He's going to go slam it. Bulldogs are going to win it with 14 seconds to go. A timeout is called. We have... Uh you know, played a, a, a tough schedule against really good teams in Alabama and A&M. And, uh, you know, it was important to get a win at home after getting two road wins. Buck at long range against Q Weatherspoon, who knocked it away, loose on the floor, taken out of there by Kegler, drops it back to Weatherspoon. Starts to drive, heads for the hole, lays it up off the glass, in and good by Q Weatherspoon. Good shot by Weatherspoon. Good determined drive. Nice job of ball knocked free by home and picked up by Weatherspoon. Gives it to Peters, drives it to the hole, lays it up and in. And the Bulldogs with back-to-back breakaway buckets. Bulldogs have cut it to 11. Driving Briscoe, put it up and missed it. Rebound loose, grabbed by Peters. Here he comes again. Bounce pass to Kegler. He stuffed it on the other end. And John Calipari calls a timeout. After we saw that, we just... Everybody gained their confidence back. Everybody played together and brought us back in that game. Bulldogs down now. Peters on the drive all the way underneath, laid it up and in again. He's just taking it up in there and scoring. He's going to dribble it out. The final's going to be 88 to 81. Going into the Tennessee game, we want to go on the road, get a good W, and just keep building and just keep going on the road so we can make the NCAA tournament. Hi, Dak Prescott here. After losing my mom to colon cancer in 2013, it became personal to me. It is the second leading cancer killer. The good thing though, it can be prevented, it can be treated, and it can be beaten. So if you're 50 or older, get screened. Do it for me and do it for yourself. Come see us at Gastroenterology Associates or Baptist Cancer Center. Locations in Columbus and Starkville. More people than ever are choosing Nissan, making us North America's fastest growing auto brand in 2016. Take on 2017 and get the safety you'd expect. And America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take on 2017 event and save up to 2,500 on the 2016 Sentra or save up to 5,000 on the 2016 Altima. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Tennessee, I thought that we, uh, you know, knew that they're a good team that was tough and physical, and, and it was going to be that type of game. They're a small team, but they're very physical. Now they're going to play hard because they play a lot of guards at one time, and they're a young and scrappy team. So we knew they were going to come in and give us the best punch. And it was a road game for us, and they had a nice crowd at home, and they had a lot of momentum. Being guarded by Turner, who's checked in. Look at Malante Turner now to Weatherspoon, who's going to take a three and tie up the ball game from deep left range. Ready. Long range. Looking for help. Throws it underneath and a jam by Holman on a good look by Reddy. Out front, Reddy. Cut off to Kegler. Long three. Good. Kegler buries one. Bulldogs with ball possession. Try to bounce it inside, get it to a rod. He's going to work and go up and lay it up and in. Nice job of being patient once again by her rod, and he gets the inside bucket to tie it. I thought Schneider uh, rebounded the ball well. That was the best thing he did. He had 11 rebounds in the game, 14 points. Seven of the rebounds were at the defensive end of the floor. Uh, I thought he did a good job in that respect. But defensively, you know, he's he's got to be much better. Uh, than he showed in that game, and he was allowing himself to get posted up too easily and get scored on. Uh, you know, for Schneider, it's all a learning experience right now. He's still learning the game. I mean, he's still very much uh, a, a freshman, learning how to play at the highest level for the first time. Ready on the move, gonna take it, put a little floater up on the run, and bank it off the glass and in and good, off the left side of the lane. That was almost a running left-handed hook shot, Jim, old school. Starts to move, makes a little move all the way behind a, a defender and slid around him from right to left. And that was a heck of a move to get wide open for a shot. Bulldogs need points on this possession. Get it on the wing for a long three, on the way and in and good by Lamar Peters. Well, he likes that shot from out of the wing. 
On the move, Weatherspoon going to take it down the lane, put a little jump hook up and no good. Harar going to grab it and slam it. Boy, nice job to follow by Snyder Harar. Gets a high screen from Arard, starts to dribble, stops for the 15-footer, in and out, no good. Tapped in by Arard. He just gently tapped it, and now the Bulldogs fail to get back defensively, but Tennessee didn't have time to throw it to the streaking Alexander. 37-34, Tennessee at the half. We was down by three at halftime, I think. He was just telling us we're not playing our best ball. We don't have enough energy right now. We're not passing the ball enough around as a team and just get everything under control. That was his main focus going into the locker room at halftime. Working on the offensive end on the right side to Peters. Drops it down inside to Harad, trying to back in. Just makes a spin move to the goal. Gets the ball knocked away. Got it back and stuck it in. A good second chance by Harad. And the Bulldogs cut it to a point. Bulldogs come away with a basketball. Peters to the hole all the way. And it is knocked loose and grabbed by Snyder Harad, who lays another one in. He's being guarded by Bone. Lost his dribble loose on the floor. But he came out of there with it again. Starts to drive. Takes it all the way in. A reverse layup is in and good by Lamar Peters. Bowden is the other guard. Bone out of the ball game. Cutler on the wing. Starts to drive. Gets cut off. Going to take a jumper. Guarded jumper, but he gets it up over Williams. In and good. Arard back in the ball game. Peters gets it to Kegler. Kegler going to jump up and fire a three on the way and good. Off the left wing. Kegler makes a three. Rebound. Fought for. Grabbed by Peters. He's going to drive it all the way to the hole. Lays it up and it is in and good. In and good. Off the board, here comes Eli Wright the other way. Takes it down the lane, put the floater up off the glass and in and good. Nice job by Eli Wright. Backs up, throws it back to Stapleton, driving the baseline, and will drive it to the hole and lay it in. Contact with Evans. Evans took a tumble, and Xavier Stapleton gets his first bucket of the ball game. 75-58. Bulldogs get it back. Tyson Carter with a long three in and good. No good. Rebound Mississippi State. Stapleton out with the Peters. Ahead to Carter in front of the pack. He jammed it. And uh, just ahead of a defender did a good job to take it to the goal. Tyson played good down the stretch for us. Uh, and, you know, scored some baskets. And, uh, you know, th that's the thing that's his strength right now. You know, right now uh, at this point is that he can put the ball in the basket. And he always has been able to do so. Peters to uh, the Bulldogs down the middle of the lane and laying it up and in was Tyson Carter. We was we was losing at the end of the game and I felt like I didn't want to uh, just give up that easy. So I just uh, try to show a lot of effort. Everybody on the court at the end of the game, we showed a lot of effort uh, and a lot of pride. So we didn't want to give up. For a minute now, ball knocked away, stolen by Tyson Carter, driving it up the floor, puts the ball up on the glass and scores it again. Another nice play by Tyson Carter. I think Tyson's trying to get a little more playing time too, Jim. You know, he was he was averaging over 10 points a game when he came out of the starting lineup. That'll run it out. Final score 91-74. Tennessee with a resounding home victory, and the Bulldogs will go back home to play Missouri. Our guys really responded to the fact that we did not compete and, and play how we have to play in that second half of the Tennessee game. I th we had our best practice of the year on Monday. The guys really played hard and competed and blocked out and did the things that we needed to do to improve. And so that really helped us in preparation for the Missouri game. More people than ever are choosing Nissan, making us North America's fastest growing auto brand in 2016. Take on 2017 and get the safety you'd expect. And America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take on 2017 event and save up to 2,500 on the 2016 Sentra or save up to 5,000 on the 2016 Altima. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs.
Blog Talk has a new home, and that home is the veranda. Join me, Ben Howland, every Wednesday night for dinner and Dog Talk Live. The veranda is home of the best steaks in Starkville and the best blue plates in Mississippi. Jay Yates is always cooking up something delicious. I'll see you at the veranda, where it's all about the flavor. I knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, they're, they're a team that, that uh, played everybody tough and yet not run over the hump yet with a win. And, and this game really, uh, you know, worried me. And uh, you could see why in that first half, the way they executed offensively. And, uh, you know, we struggled out of the gate offensively a little bit and, and gave them an opportunity to build a, a nice lead before closing it at the half. We just said we were just going to play harder. And Try hard to have a lot of energy coming into the Missouri game because we knew they haven't won an SEC game and we knew they were going to come out real hard and try to get their first win against us. So Coach Allen just told us to come out and play hard. He gets it to Weatherspoon with a feed. Now to Peters in the circle. Back to uh, Stapleton with a long three in and good. Well, Stapleton hit only one of 11 threes over his last six games, but he buried that one. Out front to a driving now in the lane. Kick back out. Peters from Weatherspoon fires and misses. Weatherspoon gets the offensive rebound, and he sticks it back in. The Bulldogs get an inside bucket on the offensive rebound. Ready right side to Eli Wright. He's going to fire from long range, and he hits a three. The lefty got it up there and in. Q comes up the floor, whips it off to Peters at long range. He's going to take that three. It's on the way, and it's in and good. On the side, ball knocked away and stolen by Weatherspoon on a pass. Goes right down the lane, lays it in and good. A steal on a bucket. I thought he really played good against Missouri and was aggressive and attacked the rim. But what I thought he did uh, is he, he did everything. He had four assists, so he's making plays for others. Uh, really did a nice job passing the ball, moving the ball, making the extra pass. He had eight rebounds, seven on defense, played good defense. He had a number of steals and, and not gambling, just playing solid good defense and then reading the opportunity when he was there. He had, if I'm not mistaken, three steals that led to layups or dunks in the first half when we were struggling to score offensively. So his overall game uh, w was outstanding. Eli coming up the floor, throws it back to Weatherspoon. He starts to drive all the way to the hole. Nice hard drive to the hole. He lays it in a good. The coach just told me to be aggressive and just try to get the team going. So I came out and just tried to be real aggressive in the first half, just trying to look for my teammates. And I, and I got a lot of open shots and, and they failed. So I was excited about that. But coach and them just told me to come out and be aggressive. Lob it outside the lane to Holman. Back outside to Weatherspoon. He drives, goes in there, lays it off the glass and in, and he is really working hard. Another good drive to the goal. Now going to look, shovel it back outside to Perrier. Five on the shot clock. Back down inside, stolen by Weatherspoon. He's going to drive it hard to the hole and lay it in and good again. Boy, Weatherspoon has a dozen points now, and he's almost single-handedly keeping Mississippi State in this ball game. Get it inside, partially blocked off the hands of uh, Hughes, Bulldogs come out there with it, and here comes Weatherspoon again. Off the right, he'll lay it in and good. And that was an assist by Q Weatherspoon, Jim. As you said, he's he's taking over on the offensive end for the Bulldogs. Looks with the drops of pass to Reddy on the right wing, looking for Kegger on the right baseline. Guarded by Barnett, starts to back it in, drives, gets underneath, a little spin move underneath, and lays it up over the iron. They get uh, Pop Kegler outside, give it off to Weatherspoon, got a fire of three on the way and in and good. His first three of the night, and Weatherspoon gets the Bulldogs back to within six points. Long range three on the way, no good. Grabbed by Tyson Carter, he fires in and good at the buzzer. Carter got the loose ball off the miss by Weatherspoon out front and gets his first points of the night and cuts the lead to four and a half. Time. Missouri 43 and Mississippi State 39 at the halftime. That was a big play because uh, we were down six, missed a shot. It was a long rebound. It came right to Tyson. He knew that the clock was uh, winding down. And he just got it up in a hurry and knocked it down. It gave us some momentum going into halftime.
I think it was a big uh, boost into the second half. We were kind of playing a little dead in the first half. We didn't have that much energy. And um, in the second half, we came out with a lot more energy. It was too lax out there, too relaxed, not playing hard enough. We were down by four to a Missouri team who was looking for a win. We didn't want to be the team to let them get their first win and pick up their confidence on us. Guy Smicko sets the screen and now throws it back to Walton on the wing. He drives, gets it in front, comes in. Ball is blocked and taken away. Bulldogs down the court in a hurry. Lob it up to Mario Kegler, who slams it in the goal. My man drove by me, and Eric stepped up and blocked the shot, and I just ended up getting a rebound. He hit me um, up, up ahead, and I seen Mario running on the left wing, and I seen him throw his hand up, so I just tried to give him a pass. I didn't know he was going to dunk it. I just tried to give him a pass up towards the rim, and he went up and finished. Bulldogs look at the curl, get it to Weatherspoon. Baseline jumper in and good. 22 points for Q. Weatherspoon backs up and fires and scores. That's that step back jumper from about 17. And Van Leer just looks at the bench and says, what do I do? Bulldogs have their first lead of the basketball game. Bulldogs out running with Will. Right ready. Underneath, it's home when he ran the floor, goes up and lays it in. He let the traffic pass and got the easy bucket. And Jim Anderson says, let's call a timeout. Looking for Holman on the inside. Can't go there. Out front to Stapleton. Throws it in the middle to Kegler. Out to Weatherspoon. Get him a good look. He fires and scores again. That just tied his career high. Bulldogs get it in the corner. Kegler out of the corner. Fires and hits a three. Peters up the floor. Peters long range three. Good for Peters from out top. Bounce pass to Peters. He's open. He fires. He's got it once again. With the ball, I.J. Reddy in the corner. Shot on the way. It's good again. Peters has gotten as hot as you can be. Three in a row. When I was open, I just wanted to take my time, be focused, and knock down my shots. After I hit the first couple, coach started running plays for me. So I was just making reads. One time I came off the screen, one of the guys cheated, I flopped back. I actually made a great pass. I was able to knock it down. And just when I was getting my open shot, I just wanted to stay in my shot, leave my follow through up and knock down, knock it down. 79%. And in the corner, he inbounded the ball, he being Lamar Peters, to Mario Kegler, who gave it a rack back to him as he came out inbounds in the corner. And he did it again, his fifth three and his fourth in a row. Inbound, now Peters out front. It's on the way again, and it's good. And uh, lets the traffic pass, drops it off to Mario Kegler. 14 on the shot clock, starts to drive it. Jump stops in front, puts a little floater up and in. Nice job by Mario to create a shot and get two points in the lane. Three and a half on the game clock. Peters on the move, gets a little room, going to take it down all the way down the lane, just lay it up and around the iron and in and good. They put a little pressure on him. He came around his man and got an open pass to the goal. Comes to the top of the key, going to fire a three on the way and good again. Tyson Carter going to walk it up the floor, and he's just going to dribble it out. That's going to be the final score, 89-74, Mississippi State. Going to win number 13. We just want to keep a level head, be humble, and stay hungry, and just go in and compete, and hopefully get this W on Saturday. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Go. 